Hi, this is a brief introduction to our open source tool, Umlet. It lets you draw UML sketches really fast, just like on a sheet of paper. Today, I'm going to show you three main features. First, let's see how to create a simple class diagram. We just add a class element to the main panel, and then we can modify it in the property panel to the right. So let's change the name and then add member variables, and some methods. Of course you can use copy and paste, which makes this very efficient. As you see, there is no pop-up dialogues and no mouse dragging involved. Same thing for relations. Let's just add one to the diagram first. And just like before, we modified the relation in the property panel. This makes it very easy, for example, to change the direction of a relation or to change its type. You can also edit all the elements you see in the palette above. This way, you can set up and use your own element templates that you might have to use more frequently. The second main feature are complex diagram types. Let's have a look at activity diagrams first. Here we change the name and add some activities. and an if statement as well. Just like before, the whole activity diagram is defined by the text in the property panel. Again, there are no mouse clicks and no pop-ups. Now this example is simple, but you can actually create fairly complex activity diagrams, and here is an example. Another complex diagram type is the sequence diagram. Here is an example. The third main feature are so-called custom elements. Let's add one and see how they work. There are three text panels. To the left there is the usual property panel. And in the center you see Java code that converts the text from the property panel into the graphic on the right. As an example, let's just add a second inner frame. The Java code gets compiled on the fly. And voila, here you see that second frame. Of course you can also create your own commands. Say we'd like our element to feature a small circle, and to activate it with the command underscore circle. For that, we need to add one line of code. If there is a text line in the property panel with our new command, then just draw a circle OK, here it is. Now, the underscore circle line is still visible, so we simply mute it. Now you can add this custom element to the main panel, and you've just created your own new element type. That's it for today. We really hope you enjoy our little tool. Have a great day!